Jim Richardson, what what a here, that's who you are. Jim Richardson, another second place finish at a Worlds, but what an exciting last day of four races. Tell us about it out there. Uh, it was great conditions today. Um, the, it wasn't too much wind, but it was great wind, and uh, everyone was pretty much in control of their boats today, uh, unlike most of the, uh, <laughs> the prior days. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, it was all on. The race committee did a great job getting four races in. Um, we would have been happier with two races, I think, but the, uh, it was still good sailing. Let, let's, let's talk about it for a second. You went into that third race with a nice lead, um, and then uh, on the final downwind leg, we were sort of concentrating on the lead boat, and, uh, and we saw you uh, take down your kite and spin a circle. What happened? Um, well, we were kind of being pinned out to the, uh, the uh, port ley line, and um, we jibed and just crossed uh, Scott Eason, and but then uh, uh, Wild Thing was coming along, and um, I don't know what exactly what our plan was, but uh, we ended up uh, having our spinnakers hit, and um, oh. so now we had to do a turn, and uh, oh. so that was, was it. It was kind of painful. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Well, it all comes down to that, and you've now got three uh, second place finishes at the Par 30 uh, World. I'm a bridesmaid. So next year, uh, are you going to come back for another try? Uh, we'll see where it's going to. I don't know. The uh, I think there's been uh, some talk of Sweden, but uh, it's a we'll beautiful see. place. Yeah, it is. It'd be uh, you know. We take a look at it for sure. All right. Um, well, good luck. I hope you come back, and I hope you put this one away like you did with the far 40s after a long try, try as well. Thanks, Jim. Good job it. out there, brother. Thanks, Alan.